Disclaimer, the following video is one of a more serious subject. As a result, there are little to no memes or funny moments included in this video. If you are expecting to get some kind of humorous laugh out of the next several minutes, it is suggested to go visit some of the other content on my channel. We're looking for laughing, laugh out loud, thank you. Your discretion is advised. 1,000 subs! <laughs> how did that happen? I... Well, I think we all know how I made a Trini video that took minimal effort during a time when traffic was high and the algorithm took it from there. It's kind of looking like a one-hit wonder from here, which I am actually completely fine with. I'll just keep chugging along with my three plus videos a month and any support that I receive, which has been absolutely shocking, will be overwhelmingly appreciated. Once again, I'm just so, so thankful that even like one, just one of you is watching and valuing and enjoying my content. This 1000 sub milestone just means so much to me. Honestly, every time I rewatch my videos, I like physically cringe at the moments in which I could have edited better or acted better or just generally just be better. So I don't really know why you guys are still watching. <laughs> but Anyways, if you guys want to know more about the logistics of the future of this channel, feel free to click up there on the info card or down in the description below. Uh, hopefully they're in the right place, I've never done that before, that's kind of cool. <laughs> now, in discussing the actual copyright issue of this video, go ahead and watch the original video first that took so long to get uploaded and of course in the description there. Done? Great. So, spoiler alert. I made an avatar video, and like everyone else with good taste, I've always been a huge fan of Team Avatar. About, I don't know, about a year ago I would say, I got into this big spree of watching these avatar out of context compilation videos, and obviously these were perfect, but it always rubbed me the wrong way, I could never find any videos about Legend of Korra, the, the sequel. I know that people generally hate on Korra a lot, so I wanted to show my support for the sequel by making my own avatar out of context Korra moments. So I uploaded a private version of my compilation on September 19th of 2020 last year. Almost instantaneously it got flagged for a copyright claim. Obviously that meant then rather some YouTube person manually looking through the video and finding the similarities, the system itself picked up on the footage. But fair enough, I thought. I expected the copyright to put their own ads for profit or something. And this was back months ago when I had around 60 subscribers or so. So I didn't worry at all about monetization or advertisements. For instance, several months later, I uploaded my embarrassing dancing and singing videos, which I knowingly used copyrighted music. And justifiably, it said the videos cannot be monetized and may generate ad revenue for the original creators. That's why the descriptions for those two videos have disclaimers about potential ads. The important thing to note is that those two videos were still freely on YouTube without any visibility restrictions. However, when I uploaded the Legend of Korra video, it singled out two specific sections in which, quote, video cannot be seen or monetized and, quote, blocked in some territories. Okay, I thought, whatever. It says that only 26% of my population is blocked. I suppose that's not that much. Oh. Yeah, this, this is a problem. Obviously, I was going to do something about this. It gave me two options. Either to A, trim out the segments and just take out the clips, or B, dispute these copyright infringement claims. Of course, I could always just take out those two clips, but number one, I thought those are pretty funny moments, and number two, I'm pretty stubborn. <laughs> and evidently, since you're watching this video, I disputed the claim. 
Now, in case you don't know, there are three levels to disputes. This is really dirty, but it's kind of like the US federal court system in which you have the US district courts and then the court of appeals and then the Supreme Court with each one getting more and more significant. Likewise, for YouTube, you have disputes and then appeals and finally counter notifications. I'll explain each one in further detail later. Alrighty, so I plan to dispute one of those claims and then if that worked, I will plan to do the exact same thing with the other one. First, I needed to confirm eligibility and ensuring that my dispute was valid and ensuring that quote, that owning a copy, not making money, nor giving credit was the supposed reason. Next, I had to select the type of reason I have. Typically, most people do this through fair use, as they are transforming other people's original content into their personalized creations, often through like memes or parodies, etc. Here is some more background on fair use and its terminology. For my dispute, I decided to label it as remix or mash up the same thing, which is pretty obvious if you have seen the video. Some questions it asks are, how much of the original content have you used, have you transformed the original content, and is your video a substitute for the original content? Finally, in answering those questions, it gives you a broad 2000 character limit open in the question of, quote, why is your use of the claimed content an example of fair use? About 8 hours after I set my dispute, the response came back that the dispute was rejected. What's really stupid in my highly expert opinion is that these companies never give any direct or particular response. They merely disagree with your dispute and reaffirm the content ID claim. Again, they give you the option of either trimming out the segments or appealing. Naturally, I appeal. <laughs> It's a little bit riskier as the claimant can reject the appeal and potentially end up with a copyright strike. But, you know, I got my big fat arrogance, so I proceeded. Although they did ask for a lot of my private information, which was somewhat intimidating. Anyways, the appeal itself actually had a pretty massive workload. It had four main questions, each with a 2000 character limit. Number one, does your use significantly transform the original work or does it serve the same purpose? I.e., do you add new expression or meaning to the original work or do you merely copy from the original? Number two, what is the nature of the copyrighted work? I.e., is the original work factual in nature or fictional? Is it published or unpublished? Is it informational or entertaining in nature? Number three, how much of the original content is used? I.e., how much and what percentage of the original work do you use? Do you use the most important parts? And number four, is your video a substitute for the original content? I.e., do you think the original copyright owner experiences any financial loss because of the use of their work? And then here's like a little bonus question to include any other information that the copyright owner should be aware of. After that, you cross your T's and dot your I's and your appeal will be sent to them. They have a month to respond and during that time you can do whatever you want with the content. For me, they responded back on January 19th, which was about two weeks later. They basically said, no, you're wrong, but we're not going to tell you why you're wrong. To say that unless I took the video down within 7 days, which well, there would be no consequence then, they would then remove the video and then issue a copyright strike. Additionally, after 7 days, I could then submit a counter notification. So you already know what I did. I patiently waited for the 7 days to pass. And then suddenly, it said that I got a copyright strike, of which I expected. Copyright strikes go away by themselves within 90 days, so as long as you don't mess up 3 times in 3 months, you should be okay. You also have to go to copyright school, which was literally just watching a 5 minute video about copyright stuff, it's, it's so easy. <laughs> Thus, you can either wait them out for 90 days, 
request retractions from the claimant by basically apologizing, or go guns blazing with a counter notification. <laughs> Oh my, this video is so bad. Once again, you have to review the requirements and enter in your contact info, blah blah blah. For the actual argument section, it honestly just felt like the initial dispute section again. It asks, why should your video be reinstated? With a 2000 character limit with the four types of reasons listed on the right. Yeah, I, I know, I don't know if I don't know if you're thinking the same thing, but for me, it felt pretty underwhelming, especially compared to the workload that you just had to do for the appeal. If I'm not mistaken, the distinction is that the counter notification goes directly to YouTube for them to reveal. If accepted, it would then go back to the claimant. YouTube responded about four days later, and unfortunately, they didn't send it to Viacom. And just like the other messages, they sent a blanket statement about me not having a valid reason without giving me any actual advice or specificity. They do allow for me to send another counter notification, but with the intimidation that it may lead to actual court matters. Personally, I don't think they would litigate in court for random nobodies, so it's kind of like a game of chicken. But. This time, I'm sad to say, I conceded. In the end, I just cut out the parts where it was copyrighted to the version you see today. Don't get me wrong, it's still a hilarious video, and I learned so, so much about copyright material because of this experience. I... <laughs> I really wouldn't have it any other way. Keep, keep that in there, keep that. <laughs> I personally would like to go to law school, so I spent a good chunk of time researching background on copyright law, especially with the appeal section. As always, all of my information can be found in the description down below, as well as my dispute, appeal, and counter notification. They're all down there. I don't think I have the jurisdiction to claim whether that video is indeed fair use, but I suppose it can't hurt for your guys' opinion on this matter. If you want me to go over each section specifically in detail on how to properly answer, feel free to let me know in the comments. Well, maybe not, seeing as how my claim has got rejected and that I now I have a copyright strike, you might want to ask other people first. Regardless, I really appreciate that those of you that are still watching. I love seeing new people come to my channel every day, and I I literally just can't stop smiling whenever I see the sub count go up by just, just one, honestly. I know this was a super regular video of mine, and I personally don't, like, count it as one of my 3 plus videos a month, but I hope you were able to learn a little something because of my mistakes. Posture check and water check.